So as always, first things first, what is the area of the resulting figure? So again, it looks like we put something together, it looks like a shape, and we wanna know the area of that shape. Okay, sounds good. So the area of the shape, well, I gotta know what shape it is to know what formula, or to have an idea of what formula is to use. But just like the previous question, it says two congruent squares. So congruent meaning the same. So two squares that are the same with a side of seven meters are joined edge to edge. So when we think about that again, just like we did in the previous one, seven meters for each side. And again, we have a duplicate of it right over here. And this one again is seven meters by seven meters. Now, when we join them together, boom, you can consider that a rectangle or since it's because, you know, since because it's just the sum of the areas, we can think about it as two separate squares. Either way it works just fine. So if you think about it like that, like the area of square one plus the area of square two, well, we can say that the area of the first one is a square, so it's seven times seven. And the area of the second one is just seven times seven. We can think about it just like that. And so if we bring this down a notch, let's go ahead and write this out. Seven times seven, everybody is going to give us. Yeah, that's going to be 49. Nice and easy. And if we add that with what we know the other area is going to be, 49, add both of these together and we will get 98 square meters. Because the first one is 49 square meters. The second one is 49 square meters add them together and we get 98 square meters. If we were to add both of these together in terms of the shapes first, we can absolutely do that. I can take duplicates of each of these, put them together, and what we would have is sevens on the side over here. This over here would be seven plus seven because we have, again, both sides. Seven plus seven being 14. So if we wanted to find the area that way, we could absolutely go with 14 times 7, and that's still going to give us 98 square meters. And there we go. Again, two different ways to do the same exact problem, because in this question, hear me out, in this question, because we're looking for the combined area, we know that area is the space that we cover. So with that said, hey, the space that we cover can be the sum, the addition of these spaces individually.